Hello guys, this is Rick, the middle class millennial. Today we're gonna to be patching up holes in my basement foundation wall. Um, this should be the first thing you guys should do before you finish the basement is to check for leaks and patch any holes up in the concrete. So we're gonna do that right now. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and prep the area. I have an angle grinder with a wire brush attachment on here. You can also use a handheld brush if you don't have one. We gotta get this area cleared up so the hydraulic cement will actually adhere to the concrete properly. All right, uh, as you can see here, we got it all prepped now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a batch ready here in a sec once I get these other holes that are on this wall cleared up and prepped. Anyway, with these old homes, you always find surprises. I noticed when I was grinding out this wallpaper, I found a P-shaped uh, hole that was right here that was blocked with a P-shaped cutout of wood that was shoved in here, which I find ironic because a couple of years ago, I patched a hole up on the exterior of my home that was leaking water that had this P-shaped cutout all the way through the whole foundation. Um, I'll put that photo right up over here. Uh, the cool thing is this is just facing my crawl space, so it doesn't leak anyway, but I still grind it out as much as I could to cover it. But uh, anyway, uh, I know this home was built in the 40s, and they weren't really designed to be finished back then, but uh, any of you contractors, if you guys are watching this video, let me know. I mean, why do I have these P-shaped coals cut through my entire foundation wall? Because I know this is the second one I've found, and so I am kind of curious. And, and the other one is engineers. You'll see in that photo up there. It's a clean cut all the way through the whole foundation. So anyway, just let me know if you guys are curious if you guys know the answer to that. All right, time we're going to finally patch up the holes. If you guys go, go down to the harvester, get yourself like some quick Cree hydraulic water stop cement. It says it stops leaks in three to five minutes. It does set real quickly. So uh, when you're doing that, make sure uh, you're quick about it. Also, I recommend if you have one of these, use this. Uh, you can also use a putty knife, which I've used in the previous, which will work, but you're going to have to force it in there. Anyway, we'll get started on that. All right, now that you guys got it, uh, try to get the consistency of peanut butter. I added a little too much water, but it should be good for the job here. We'll see. All right, now that we got our hydraulic cement applied, we're gonna give it some time to dry. It's already been curing for a little bit. In the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and fix a crack on the other wall over here. So we got this crack here underneath my window sill, underneath this little window that I have here. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing as last time, except we're gonna do something slightly different. But anyway, let's start prepping. So we went ahead and I got the uh, whole area cleaned out. Anyway, I recommend you guys wear a respirator for this since I don't know if this is lead based paint or not. So anyway, we'll continue this tomorrow after I let the basement ventilate out and all this dust get out of here. Go ahead and make this crack a little bit wider so I can have something that the hydraulic cement can adhere to. Get yourself a masonry chisel and get like a mini sledge or something to not use a carpenter hammer. And we're gonna go ahead and just lightly knock this out a little bit. Also wear safety glasses for this. You never know when rocks come out and hit you in the face. It seems like that always happens. The good news is we had a major rainstorm that we haven't had since I've been living here that was really bad. And we've been living here for years. And yeah, this crack didn't leak at all. So it's probably not cracked all the way through, but it probably doesn't hurt to get this plugged up regardless. Well, more surprises on my chiseling journey all the way down here. Um, found a block of wood underneath. I just saw a sliver of it underneath the concrete and excavated this out. I'm gonna see if I can pull this out of here and fill this in with uh, the uh, hydraulic cement. But uh, yeah, that's one thing, guys, you're gonna run into this kind of stuff. Just wanted to document it real quick for you. All right, about ready to go ahead and lay the uh, hydraulic cement. Um, I noticed that back in here, this wood, if this is wood, it's rock solid. I can't even hit it with the chisel. 
Doesn't really matter. This is deep enough. We're going to cover this up. Like I said, this foundation has never leaked. So um, this, this patch job should do the trick, obviously. So all right, we're ready to begin. I think I had a little too much water again, but it's better than the last batch. Not near soupy. Still a little soupy though. Shove it in there the best I can. I'm trying to hurry because the set, stuff sets so quickly. You, you know, you get in a hurry yourself and you try to, you know, try to get it wet. And that's what ends up happening. You get a little too wet, so. Ready to lose the batch here. All right, time for the bottom section. I finally have the consistency I want for once. That's the fourth try. We've, we've got a really good consistency here. Let's try and get it in that hole without dropping it. I'm gonna shove it in there best we can. Oh. That's why I'd rather use this than a putty knife because you can't really shove it in there, you know what I mean? So I'm glad I got this from my grandfather. He gave me some old tools when he sold his house, so it's nice of him. Ah! Trying to push really hard where that wood was at. Make sure it's all the way in there. These do expand when they dry out, but you know they don't expand that much. It's not like it's spray foam. So overall, I thought this project turned out pretty good. My advice to you guys, even though this stuff sets very quickly, take your time mixing your batches so you don't end up putting too much water in it like I did. So. Um, anyway, I hope this gave you guys a general overview and I hope this video helped. If you guys found this video helpful, please like and subscribe down below and also please leave a comment. Um, feedback is welcome on this channel and I try to read and respond as soon as I can. So until next time, you guys take care.